Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Ready, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you get notified when new videos co go out every single week and so that other photographers just like you can find us you know it just helps us out with the algorithm and um, that would be super helpful so be sure and do that now before we get too far I did want to let you know about a free posing class that I have just for you guys it's available it's completely free and it's all about posing families so if you know that posing is your weakest link or you're not confident in posing families, you um, maybe freeze up or stall trying to think of what to do next, this class is for you. It's called the Keys to Effective Family Posing. Goodbye, awkward and stiff. So you can sign up. There's a link in the description of this video. It's completely free and we'd love to have you join us. Okay, let's get right into it. I'm gonna talk you through uh, three base poses that I use for every single photo session that really helps create these natural and authentic family photos. And so it helps to remember that there's only three because if you can think of these three core poses, you can create a full gallery of images and never have to freeze up or wonder like what to do next. So it's super helpful. So the first key pose that I wanna talk about is called bunch. Now, now, these names are not super creative, but they're easy to remember. So bunch is what it sounds like. It's the whole family together in a bunch. <laughs> and so, you know, usually if it's a family with, you know, two adults and two kids, the kids are either being held or they're standing right up front. Um, if you have more kids, you start to place them all around. But the whole key here is everybody is in a bunch together. Now, um, in our last video where I was talking about posing older kids, we were talking about the importance of connection points. And that's something that you want to keep in mind that as you're posing these families in a bunch, that there are intentional connection points or places that um, you have people touching on a shoulder or, you know, being held or something that is creating this like cohesive, warm feeling photo. Um, so in a bunch that can look a lot of different ways, depending on the size of the family or whatnot. It's really fun because you can, of course, get the looking and smiling photo. You can get them looking at each other or laughing. You can do a group hug. There's so many different types of of you know variations of this pose in bunch but of course you get that like must have everybody looking and smiling shot and um, I always start with bunch just because it helps you know get things moving you don't kids don't have to follow directions as much they're just standing all together with their family they can see what big brother or big sister is doing they can see what mom and dad are doing and uh, do so together so I always start with bunch and from there we go to the second key pose which is also creatively named line <laughs> line is what it sounds like the whole family together in a line holding hands now my favorite way to do this is I put mom and dad on the outsides and I put all the kids in the middle usually from like tallest to smallest or like oldest to youngest into the middle so if they've got a whole bunch of kids then we'll go biggest to smallest but we always put mom and dad on the ends because they sort of act as like our anchors for this pose that you know no matter how many kids are squirreling around in the middle mom and dad will keep our pose where it needs to be and so you know if there's just one kid this is a really fun shot that I like to get mom and dad holding their hands and I'll do you know a far out shot of everybody and then I'll do a close-up of just the little one you know holding hands and it's so cute um, but with line you can get the family walking towards you everybody looking everybody looking at each other and then you can have them turn around and walk away from you so that's a really sweet shot too um, so I've tried to get this shot with line with every single family and it's really really easy to set up and it just looks looks gorgeous. It's a way to show off the environment that you're in, um, use that nice wide lens. So I typically shoot on an 85 millimeter lens just because I love my 85. So I back way, way up so that I can get a nice wide shot. Um, maybe you have like a 50 millimeter or something like that, 35. Use that so you can see the environment around. And then the last 
like family shot that I like to get is called front and back. So there's some variations to front and back. Basically, it just means that there's somebody in focus and there's somebody out of focus. So we are on two different focal planes on purpose. Um, my favorite version of this is when I put mom and dad in the background and the kids in the foreground. So my focus is on the kids and mom and dad are blurry. I like to put a good like 10, 15 feet between them so that there's a nice difference in um, the focal you know, plane that they're on and mom and dad get real, real blurry. So I will have mom and dad stand there and look at all the kids. The kids are facing me and they smile and that's a cute shot. But also I like to have them cover their eyes and say, ew, wow, mom and dad are kissing in the background. I have one client that um, their kid calls this the ew picture and they ask me for it every time I do their photos. Miss Rebecca, can we please do the ew picture? <laughs> because they think it's so fun and it's a really great way to capture personality of the kids. So um, we have that front and back and that's a great variation. Now another variation of front and back is to have mom and dad standing um, you know, farther away and the focus this time is on them instead of the kids. Um, so this is an easy one that when you have everybody set, just turn the kids around and then go into this shot. So we have mom and dad and then I have the kids towards me. When I say run and give hugs, then I have the focus on mom and dad and the kids are running and it turns out so sweet because not only do you get the picture of like mom and dad's joy as their kids are running towards them, but you also get the photo of the group hug after whenever mom and dad do hug them. And so those candid moments, you just can't get in a pose. That's why I really, really love it that using something like posing prompts, it just creates this genuine moment that is so special to capture. So that's a couple variations of front and back. And if you want more like pose ideas, here in the description, I actually have a um, family posing mini course that's just $27, like super um, inexpensive, but it has 60 family posing prompts that you can use. So, you know, run and give mom and dad, dad hugs is just one of them. There are so many. So you can check that out if you want. So we have bunch, line, and front and back. Those are the key poses that I'll use in every single family session. And from there, you can create all kinds of variation and, you know, different groupings and things like that. Sometimes I have just dad, you know, be there and the kids run to dad and usually they try to knock him over and I have to tell them, please don't wrestle dad to the ground. Um, but you know, you can have that variation. If you're doing the line, you could do just the siblings in a line instead of um, the whole family. If you're doing bunch, you can do, you know, all the siblings together in a bunch. There's so many different things that you can do and of course okay everybody look at each other create different posing props do a tickle fight there's it, it just creates the opportunity for not only variety but these really authentic and natural moments you know amongst the family so all things to consider and I want here's like your homework okay I want you to try one of these poses in your next family session and let me know how it goes. If you have other poses that you love to get in your family sessions, comment them below and I'd love to, you know, share them with everybody else and, um, you know, we can just help each other out here. So if you have any questions about these poses or whatever, you want to see them in action even more, um, comment below and I'd love to help answer your questions any way that I can. Um, you can also DM me on Instagram at Rebecca Rice Photography and I'm very active in my DMs. I would love to, you know, help out and answer however I can um, because I just love talking all about posing families. So I hope this is helpful for you. Don't forget to enroll in that free posing class that we have if you haven't already and we'll see you this time next week. Bye guys.